Hello, my lovely paradoxes. The brightness went down on me, so I don't know if it's fixed. I'm gonna try to make it brighter for y'all. Um, this is actually gonna be a semi-short video. Um, videos are gonna stop for a while. Um, I don't normally put, you know, well, I don't usually put out my personal personal business besides the whole "I thought I was gonna die" type thing, but um. The reason videos are going to stop is because, well, last night my girlfriend dumped me and uh, she cheated on me <laughs> all within the course of three days. I know people are going to be like, ha ha, you deserved it, blah, 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 whatever. You know, I already know that's going to happen, but um, <sighs> I just kind of find it fucked up. How, uh, to be honest, I haven't really been happy with anything in the past six years and I haven't been able to. I think I've talked about this before. I haven't been able to feel uh, the emotion love expressed for me in the past six years. And when I met this girl, um, that kind of went away. Like, I wasn't in pain anymore. I wasn't sad anymore. I was actually happy. And I was able to feel love. And it made me ever, ever so happy to feel it again. But um, what happened through the course of our time was... Um, I'd sent her a relationship request, and, um, she didn't accept it, but, you know, she kept on telling me we were dating and whatnot, so on my profile it said I was in a relationship, but on hers, it said that she was single, and I asked her about that, she goes, oh no, because my uh, parents are strict, I'm like, okay, that's fair, I guess, whatever, I'm not gonna agitate it, but, she's been acting kind of shifty these past few, or these past three days that we've been together. And I know, oh, three days, and why do you even care? Because she personally rescued me from a hell I've suffered for the past six years. And now I'm going to be continuing suffering for another six. Yeah. But, um, I had told her that how I felt was, you know, I'm not comfortable really back in the dating scene. I try not to be clingy when I talk to her or text her too much and whatnot. And, um, Told her that I was feeling like she didn't really want me or anything like that. And then she says, oh, no, no, I want you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I hope so. Like, I was really upset. And I don't, like, this whole time, I've been upset for the past few days because she's been showing signs of acting like someone else I know. And, um, sorry, things keep on popping up on my phone. Oh, yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a phone now. I'm not on a tablet. I got, I got a phone for my cousin now, so it's easier for me to maneuver and whatnot. But, um. Yeah, it progressed to the point where she has said that she's going to be de deactivating her Facebook account. And, um, I had asked her why. She said, drama. Drama being, I don't want to hear your bullshit, basically. And, uh, I said, okay, I understand. But, look, just tell me, you know, if you want to break up with me, just tell me. Please, just tell me. She goes, okay, hon, I'm sorry. Which was code for, yes, I'm breaking up with you. And before I even got to ask, you know, before I could even reply, she had blocked me. And the reason it hurts me so much is because um, for these past six years that I've suffered, I've only had one mind or one person on my mind that I wanted back and they're toxic to me, really. And I would dream of this person every night, knowing that I don't, like, I personally don't want to be with them, but in my head, it's like, I, I just couldn't get over them. And every night, and I mean every night for the past six years, I dreamt of them. And it was driving me insane. It was really, really fucking with me. And then she came along, and I was able to move on. And that brought me happiness. Uh, I missed my point back to the whole thing where she deactivated it. Not even, okay, check it out. Not even five minutes later, my friend goes on, sees that she's blocked her, not knowing that she has two accounts, goes to her other account to check out what's going on. She says, in a relationship with fuck faggot boy. Sorry, I don't yell, like to use that word, but still. So it turns out, 
that she was with him the whole time and was just toying with my emotions. That's right. I fell for it. I'm a dumb dumb. I actually thought someone could love me and make me happy. Oh, how stupid I was to believe that I could deserve happiness. I now know I don't. I don't. And I try to be happy, but I'm not. I'm really not. I know like in my videos and <coughs> or vlogs, I'm all like either happy-go-lucky or chill and whatever, but I'm really not happy. I haven't been for the past six years, and I'm not going to be for quite a long time. And so with that, I kind of don't really feel like making videos. I don't really feel like getting on the game for videos or even for myself to have fun and get my mind off of it. You know, it's just, I don't want to do anything. I'm, I'm destroyed. I know this is a pointless vlog, but my friend said that I should make a vlog letting y'all know why videos might stop for a longer period than they have uh, originally been stopping for, but yeah. Uh, videos are stopping because uh, because of a stupid bitch who thought it would be a fun joke or a fun day at the park to find innocent old me, haven't done nothing to nobody, haven't talked to a girl in six years, haven't felt love for another human being in six years. That's my uncle's dogs freaking out because no one's in the living room at the moment. But, um, and I'm sorry I can't cut that out. But, um, I guess you decided it'd be a little fun day at the park to find me and take whatever little bit of hope I had in looking for happiness and thinking, someday she fucking destroyed it. So yeah, I am upset, I am hurt, very much so, and I just believe that with my mind state being in the point of fuck, that um, I wouldn't be able to focus uh, properly on the games that I play to make the clips that I make to put the video on YouTube that I put, and I just don't want to put bad content out there to y'all. Like, that's always been my greatest fear. I know I'm not confident and whatnot, but I've always been, like, fearful of putting out bad content. Like, whoever watches my videos constantly, or not constantly, but, you know, keeps up to date with my videos, you know, I, I try to make good content for them. And, you know, I just don't believe that with me being in a heartbroken state of mind that I'd be able to do that, correctly at least. And here I go, I fucked up another short vlog and made it fucking 8 minutes and 17 seconds. Oh well. It's gonna be longer than that probably. Switch my hands up, so. I don't know how the audio effects on this phone. Like I said, I got a new phone. But, um. Yeah. And I even told myself I wasn't gonna do a vlog until my hair got done. And it's not done yet. So I apologize, I am gonna get to it. Like I said, I've promised y'all I would do my hair. And I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video or any other video, but um, since no one could come to a clear vote, um, we're going to play it like Blackjack, House Rules, Dealer Wins, that dealer being me, the Tripler, 